What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Nord Trades, and today I bring you another special video the Sunday Stock Watch List, where I give you all the eight plus setups that I like, all the setups I don't like, everything that's going on in the economic market, whether the Fed is speaking, whether we have some reports coming out, and even if we have uh, some earnings, and earnings are starting up again. So we'll go ahead and start with that. But before we do, make sure you hit that like button. 200 likes, you guys get a Miami vlog tomorrow. It'll be, you know, unfiltered, or whatever. I'll show you guys. You know the club scene this that usually those are scenes that i don't usually uh show you guys on the vlog so 200 likes you guys get it subscribe so you don't miss these videos i always give you bangers where you know straight you know crazy crazy setups last week i gave you guys snow look at snow this week we'll talk about that later subscribe comment down below what other videos you'd like to see on this channel comment down below uh what other stocks you would like to see on this channel right uh, also, I do have uh, my portable set up right now, so I'm in Texas, so things look a little weird. I'm using my phone as a camera, the screen. I forgot my notebook with the uh, the notes of all the stocks that I was going to talk about today, so I quickly typed up something here. You'll see it, so don't judge my notes. It's just me, you know, throwing it on the screen here because I forgot my notebook with all the you know detailed notes about the stocks that I was going to talk about today. But let's go ahead and talk. Uh, we have. Neil speaking Monday, you know, you have uh, Mary Daly speaks Tuesday, Patrick Harker speaks Tuesday as well. Wednesday, you have Raphael, Charles, James, that's a, a very interesting day there. You have Fed balance sheet at 4.30 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday, you know, jobless claims as per usual. And, you know, it's a chill week. There is a lot of people speaking, though. Uh, that's That's all I see here. But Always make sure you have this so you know what's going on so you don't trade during times that things can get volatile. If you want a clear picture, make sure you go to my Instagram, Trade Like Nor. That's my strictly trading page. Uh, you know, screenshot it, it'll be clear. On the laptop, it's a little stretched. We have earnings starting again. Guess what we have this week? We have Johnson & Johnson. We have Netflix. Uh, you know, we have Verizon. We have Tesla. We have Lamb Research. I used to love this one. So we'll see if uh, <clears throat> it brings that heat back. IBM. What else do you guys like? Uh, we have Snap, AT&T, Intel, Southwest Crocs uh, has moved. Whirlpools is one that can move. American Airlines, Chipotle, Intel, American Express, Honeywell. Uh, Honeywell. Yeah, there's so many things. We're, uh, so many stocks reporting this week. It's going to be insane. If you want a clear picture, same thing. Go to Trade Like North, screenshot it. You have a very clear picture on your phone so that you guys can use it this whole week. So let's go ahead and start this video. These are the quick notes that I had to write down because I left my whole notebook with the detailed notes. So Snow, I can't even talk about what I gave you guys last week. So Snow, I talked about the cup and handle forming here. As you guys can see, it ended up forming. And guess what happened? We ended up breaking it out above 325. We hit a high of like 338 almost 340 i will be watching that this week let's talk about it so uh we hit a high 338 36 but as you guys can tell the last two days we've been literally flat right we could be making the symmetrical wedge we could be breaking out keep an eye on this we've been literally flat here where we're using the bottom at 329 and we're using the top at 338 so watching the 338 break into the 340 i want to see how aggressive we can get here uh and and how far we're really going to move uh, on snow but this is ready to go here even if i put this on the one year you guys can see this flat top here at 325 326 ish and we end up breaking through that the one thing i'm noticing though on snow we are lacking a little bit of volume right for a breakout so for me the breakout has not even happened yet because of the volume right we haven't got that crazy volume spike yet so we'll see if we get that on the break of this consolidation and we'll go from there now the next stock that i'm looking at for this week is amazon Right, we had the breakout on the one hour. A lot of people caught that. I was traveling on Friday. I was on my way to Texas. But if you guys noticed, I did the live login where I made one hundred twenty thousand dollars on Friday. Uh, that's including snow shop. Uh, but we'll go ahead and get into that. But look, you guys can see we broke out on the one hour. The downtrend. We ended up consolidating in that morning on Friday. And guess what happened? We just took off from thirty three, you know, oh seven, all the way up to thirty three ninety three straight shot so and within a 10 minute period that was probably like four thousand percent so that's a crazy so now the next thing i'm looking at on this is the one year trend right we broke the one hour we're right at the one year now i'm looking to see if we can get a continuation and that'll be the break uh that we need and then the we also have a gap fill from 34 35 
up to 3450 so that'll be interesting now if we can get the continuation and the break on the one year trend and the gap fill that should be a very nice move on amazon now the next thing i'm looking at tesla was insane so if you guys go to tesla here three year chart you guys can see we've held this uptrend for a while now we're breaking out to the top side and now we're looking for momo now i'm looking for the 850 break if we can break 850 we're going to be looking at 860 870 and then what's the all-time high here 900 you know tesla can do it everybody was uh saying tesla was going to fall this year uh what's his name michael burry uh has an enormous bet against tesla i feel bad for the puts that he's in uh it's not looking too hot for him as of right now even though he bought you know a decent amount of time but still uh, but you know, Tesla's on the grind, definitely on the watch list. I'm watching 850 and I'm going to see if this can end up be a uh, breakout here. So that's Tesla. The next thing I'm looking at is a firm. A firm has been on an absolute tear. Now, if I put this on the four hour, you guys can see we're kind of consolidating here. We broke 150. We tried it now. Uh, let me put this on the one hour. So we're in this little uh, uptrend here. I'm trying to see if we're going to break this 153. We tried it twice here, 153.49, and then we tried it again here. Now, if this can curl back up and we can try it again, if we break through it, I'm looking at 155 first and then 158. So that's what I'm looking at for a firm. The next thing is Netflix. Now, I don't know if it's going to happen this week, but this has consolidation, right? You guys can see it was on an uptrend. Now it's just flat, right? You guys can see it's flat here. Now... It's flat. Now it can break down to the downside from 620 or it can break to the upside from 646. Uh, so if it breaks 646.84, I will be watching 650. And then from 650, I'll be watching 660, 670, and then 680, which is the top of this trend. So keep an eye on Netflix. Uh, this could be a banger. The next thing I'm looking at is UPST. This ended up running on Friday. I would have been able to catch this, but I wasn't there for it. On the one hour, we broke out of a symmetrical wedge. It's been a clear shot to the upside from 318 to 401 now. And what I'm looking at this week is if we can break 400 again, try uh, that 401.49. And from there, we'll be testing 405, 410, and then 416, which is the top of the trend. So that's why I'm watching UPST. The next thing, I usually don't play this, but I'll keep this on the chart. Uh, I probably won't be. I'll just bring it up. Uh, the 177, it keeps getting rejected off. You guys can see we rejected here. We rejected here. Just set an alert so you guys don't miss this trade. If it comes back, if it doesn't come back, at least you guys have this trade ready. Double top. If we break through the top side, this can break through 177, then 180, and then from there we can rally. The next thing I'm looking at is shop. Not a lot of people are talking about this at all. Uh, this is actually a pretty insane one. Now, if I put this on the 5, not put this longer, on the 10 day, you guys can see we've tested 1430 about one two three times and we're in this wedge here right if we break out through 1430 this is an easy target of 1450 and this thing can run it's just as fast as amazon when it has great days i've seen this up a 100 100 plus dollars in a day so i will be watching shop 5 1430 this is going to be a crazy one if we can get through this with some volume so shop 5 one two three this is i'm giving you guys a plus setups right now this is crazy the next thing the last thing, at least for now, is Facebook. Now, if I update my watch list anytime during the week, all you have to do is go to Trade Like Nor, you know, turn on some, your, you know, the notifications on so that if I update my watch list, I'll be like, yo, I'm watching this, this, oh, let me switch this um, so that you guys can stay updated with the watch list. Now, Facebook, on in the meantime, is not looking too hot, right? It was down $3 while something like Amazon was up 100 on Friday. Uh, so... Keep an eye on this if we bear flag to the downside. I'm watching this 317 level. Uh, it was 317.45, whatever the most recent low was. If we can break through down that, we have the bottom of the trend to watch, which is around 314. It'll be lower by Monday, and it'll keep being lower as the week goes on. I think we cut off right there. But anyways, uh, yeah, it'll keep uh, uh, becoming lower as the day goes on. Or that as the days go on, you can see every day is just lower and lower and lower and lower. So these are my watch list. I mean, this is my watch list of all the stocks that I'm watching this week. If I add any, make sure you follow me on Trade Like North so you don't miss any. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys are here for the vlog tomorrow. I'll see you guys. Peace.